Welcome to the Mental Edge. As men, we pledge to live on the edge to discuss all things we love about being men with an infectious transparency that's laced with just the right amount of man humor. If you're on a journey to self-development and improvement, if you're a seeker of truth or want to find fulfillment and purpose while crafting a brave and successful version of what God has for you, then the mental edge is for you. Man, I'm excited about today's conversation because of the conversation in the kitchen. Yeah. Sometimes I wish we had a mic going in the, <laughs> in the, ki- in the kitchen. Have a hit, you should have a hidden camera in there. Yeah. For, hmm. Yeah, season a, season four yeah. ideas already yeah, coming yeah, into fruition. This guy is yeah. Oh, man. So I am excited to be sitting with Verdell T S O Gray. Yeah. Verdell. Totally. 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 This is uh, an exciting time for us. Um, I, I was, I told Verdell that I was gonna, I was gonna tell the story of how I met met him. Yeah, I, that's a great so. place to start. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know you. And then I, I hit him. I hit him up in the car. So mm-hmm. I know he's like, man, what's he? What is he about to say? So, um, Verdell is an amazing rapper artist, and. Uh, it's crazy because I used to hang. Well, I, one of my really, really good friends is Lucius Roger, Lucius. right? Yeah. Lucius mm-hmm. Roger, and uh, I was, I was, we were working on Lucius album, okay. and I met Dennis Wilson <laughs> at a studio, and next thing you know, I'm being invited to like these awesome concerts with all these great artists, and uh, and. I'm actually going backstage sometimes. Or, you know, yeah. that's like you know, I got like front row seats. I'm like, oh, this is this life is good, right? Yeah. And uh, we we met with uh, an artist called Show Barack. Show Barack. Show Barack. Yeah. And they flew him out from I think he was in Atlanta, Atlanta at the yeah. time. Atlanta. And they flew him out, and uh, he did a show in your old stomping grounds at East Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. And we went out to eat afterwards, but during the show. I see for for I was on stage with these guys, right? Yeah, and and uh, and Lucius, uh, I call him Mo. Mo's like, you know, yeah, that's my that's my boy Verdell, man. I'll introduce you later. I was yeah. like, cool. So, but he was on the stage with all the people. <laughs> so he had music with everyone, not just one one person. He had, you know, verses on this guy's album and this, wow, yeah, like there was opening acts, and I remember that Verdell was. You know, rapping on there, I was like, I'm like, what the, what, what's going on here? So, man. afterwards, uh, Lucia's like, hey man, we're gonna, we're gonna go up to uh, uh, Steak and Shake. <laughs> and the truth is, rappers only dine at places that rhyme. And that's an incredibly lame joke. <laughs> now you, <laughs> yeah. And at Steak and Shake, we had the best time. I mean. My 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 face hurt from just laughing yeah. so yeah. much because these guys were a lot of fun and uh, and I, I developed a re- like instant relationship. As soon as I met you, you had long dreads though yeah. when I met you. I, I miss him. Yeah, do you miss him? <laughs> you had long hair. You really, he yeah. had really long hair, uh, like like a lion's mane, and uh, looked really intimidating, but. <laughs> smiled all the time and yeah. was really personable and we connected right away so and f- from that moment i want to say like the next day he hit me up about some about some art he hit me up <laughs> she gonna have to be mad she <laughs> he, he he hit me up about some art he hit me up about you know just projects and um hmm. and and something that there's young artists that are going to be listening to this program and i'm gonna and, and i'll mention some of them um because I knew them, they were the opening acts for the for for these other artists. Sure, okay, more established artists. Yeah. Right? So yeah. these guys were just they were up and coming young people. And during that conversation, Verdell said, um, "He goes, man, do you see this young cat right here, man? I really lo- I like what he's doing. I'm thinking about starting my own. I think you already had the label, but you know, man. I didn't know too much about it. And he was like, man, I want I, you know, I I, I want to connect with these guys. 
and you know I want to help them because I've a, I've been in the industry. I know what's going on. Um, you know, maybe I can introduce them to some people. And, and it and years later, these young people are the opening acts, right? And I'm I'm there at the show, and who do I see right next to those guys? Yup, Verdell. I think I've heard of him. Love. Something that he told me years before. Yeah. Yeah. At a restaurant came came to life and I'm watching it and he's doing it and he's helping helping them with smaller tours in the area yeah. um but they're headliners now they're the ones that the the, the group of people are calling to start the shows yeah. and I just I got you know I had to tell you that and I didn't want to tell you I didn't want to root for you earlier because yeah. I like I love the way it came full circle yeah and um, you know, it was just an exciting, an exciting time, man. And you had a song that came out that was just everywhere, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So that gift and a curse, <laughs> the gift, a and gift. The curse. A, a gift and a curse, a yeah. gift and a curse. Yeah. So that was uh, that was my initial how I met you. And you know, until this day, you know, I was just telling him earlier, uh, you know, we can we don't have to talk for months. We connect, and it's like we never. Yeah, it fell off because it's genuine. Your connection yeah. is genuine. Yeah. yeah, so really, really good times. And I'm yeah. super. I, I, I'm, if you can, if you can't yeah. tell, I'm stoked. That yeah, you're like a schoolgirl going to a Bieber concert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. And if you like the way he raps so much, Fernando, you should go and love Adele. Get a room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, I'm excited yeah, too, man. Because yeah, I love excited. music too, Verdell, yeah, and yeah. I love talking with people who produce it. Yeah. Okay, because I, I just love it. It's because we just we already kind of touched on the fact that it's powerful. Yes. You obviously know it's powerful. But what I loved about the, what the story that Junior just kind of told was is that you said, "Hey, I'm gonna do this thing." Mm-hmm. He comes back sometime later because yeah. he because he yeah. cares. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I do. And he gets to see that somebody who said they were gonna do something yeah. did it. Yes. Ah, and that's how men yeah. like feed into each other mm-hmm. if yeah. they if they so choose to ob- be observant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think with, with a friend, I, I call him Junior too. I think um, he looks to see if you're going to keep your word, which mm. is a form of accountability. Come on and shoot. Yes, you know. Amen. So, so things that you say, it, it it's like okay, you said it, you put it out there. <laughs> Now you're bound to it, yeah. yeah. You know, and Amen. I think I think we need it's too many people who we call ourselves friends, but we don't keep each other accountable. Mm. You know, hey, if you tell me you're coming over at ten to help me fix the sink, I'm not gonna call and see, are you on your way? Yeah, I expect you there at ten. Yeah, because you gave me your work because you didn't have to. You didn't have to say. <laughs> right. You didn't have to say yes yeah. just to yeah. please me. But once you yeah. give me once I once I hear your word. Mm. What, like yesterday, he said, hey, I'll be there to pick you up. I didn't call him this morning. I got up at 8, got ready, and yeah. about 10 o'clock, yeah. he said, hey, I'm on my way. Yeah, That's how me and Sha'a. I love like, it. We, we, should, we, sh- we shouldn't have to second guess the people closest to us That's right. if they're going to keep their word. Yeah. 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 I heard, uh, when you said that, I heard. That's the difference between feel good and real good. Get up on your feet. Mm. <laughs> Right. Hold on, I'm still in that. Yeah. <laughs> still in that. It's the truth, man. Real like, good and real good. <laughs> no, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure those things come to you, Verdell, yeah. all the time. You can't do what you do. It, it, it's yeah. It'd be like my wife, be like, would you start rapping to me? <laughs> but do you? What do you, how do you capture them? Because people who are creative want to know. Um. Yeah. So, I have this this love iPhone. I always the the. Do you use a memo pad? Yes. Yeah. The great thing about it, you can voice things. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've always, if I hear something, I'll, I'll put it in. Even a beat? Will you? Will you? Uh, <laughs> will you do any of that to your my, phone? My strongest point here is that I'm I'm very transparent. I was never the book smart kid, mm-hmm. so I really had a problem with spelling. Oh, so in spelling a word, I see other words inside of that word. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, yeah like That's it's so it, cool, it, it's man. like 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 it, it breaks down in my head. I see other words, and I'm like, mm-hmm. wow. And so from that, I started doing uh, crossword. That's something me and my wife <gasps> do big crossword puzzles. Genius. Wow. And it shows me different words that connect. So I'm able to rhyme words that necessarily, if you say it, they wouldn't yeah. rhyme together. Okay. Be- because yeah, of my yeah. lack of being able to just be a spelling bee genius. Another superpower. 
<laughs> you see how that came about? It's crazy, yeah, man. So, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. So you mentioned your wife. How long you been with your wife? Man, we've been together twenty. You can give her a shout out. What's her name? Uh, Jamila. 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 Oh. Yes, Jamila backbone. That's my backbone. Uh, we yeah wow. we've been we've been together <laughs> twenty twenty. Yes, yeah, storytelling years. There's a lot of stories in those twenty mm-hmm. years. We've been married. Oh, she gonna be my butt if I don't know. <laughs> you, hey, don't you? You don't gotta 13, throw it out there. Twelve, yeah, thirteen yeah, yeah. years mm-hmm. somewhere yeah. around there, and, and, and produce ten beautiful kids. Wow, incredible! Yeah, so. ain't that awesome? Mm. Yeah. I knew you'd be in shock when I said that. Yeah, but yeah. he, but I didn't realize that he wrote it on the bio when he sent it to you. Yeah, that's I cool. Like, cause I'm all about, I'm all about married people getting it on. <laughs> want you to know it. It's hey, the coolest thing on the hey, planet, man. Spe- spe- mm. listen, and listen. he has rules in the house, for especially his wife. When you, especially when you, that. when you, yep, yeah, you guys, yeah. you know, and and I don't, I can't wait till Fernando. Can, yeah. Especially when you have an argument, and, and and you pray during intercourse with your wife. Oh man, I think this conversation is about to get very hot. You're welcome. Please listen carefully. Hey, we just set. Yeah. So, hey, we just <laughs> for Dell. Come here, give me some. <laughs> so, a whole other we level just taught right a marriage cl- a marriage class. Yeah. Right, and we were blessed to do that in our yeah. church. Yeah. And the quietest moment was when we said that the best prayer we've ever had together is after we made love. It was like <laughs> people looked around. Uh, but can we talk about that for a second? Yeah. yeah. Uh, why? Yeah. why? This is he, great. He, he just shared something to me on a, on the way over here, yeah. and he said that he has made a vow to stay abstinent till he get married. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I share I couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. No. I, I couldn't. You know, right. if I'm talking to my brother, yeah. to me, I couldn't do it. Why are we not talking about those things inside the church? Why is it such a shock moment? Mm-hmm. You guys are married. We know that y'all are having sex. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, they're married. They have sex. So right, why right. is it such a shock moment with inside yeah. the church that 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 just shows a lack of how much we're being real with each yeah. other? Mm-hmm. You know, and I think if, if we would, um, a lot of his story that mm-hmm. he told me on, 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 the, on the ride here, how many people set back and might have seen something that you didn't see and didn't say right mm. just just not 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 that it was no, being no. a bad person it, yeah. yeah but just because they didn't know how to come to you right mm. right hey junior yeah. i yeah i don't think that you should right, let your right. wife come out the house like that yeah man he might say something to me and i might lose my friendship with him right yeah. we got to be willing to put the friendship on the line yeah yeah inside of the church that's deep you know but that's what friendship is yeah. right hey hey pastor you said something that was a little off mm-hmm can you show me where you got it from? Yeah. And we have how many mm. people are willing to go to But I like your delivery. Yeah. 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 Verdell, because people don't deliver it like that either. Yeah. yeah. But that's, that's how that's where the realness comes from. Like, can can you show me because maybe I missed it. Right. I mm-hmm. had a I I was at a service one time and and, and one pastor said, um that he probably watches the show. Um <laughs> he, he said, um uh David was considered to be a little fairy. And I said, I've never heard that. And I'm like, okay, we're gonna have to talk about this. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you know, we're, this one out. you know, yeah. So, but, but we're human. Yeah. One thing that the truth told me, he said, uh, um, people have when when the Bible was being put together, right. yeah, people would write their letters and send them in, and they had a council who would read the letters wow. mm-hmm. and and say, no, this doesn't fit. Mm. This fit. So imagine we're hu- in our human nature. Right. Everything that Paul submits, mm-hmm. it gets put in. <laughs> but right. here I am, and and y'all keep <laughs> rejecting my stuff. So I'm gonna write it and slap Paul name on it. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I want inside this Bible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's the pride thing. It's the pride yeah. that we all oh, deal man, with. You know, good. and it's like and it's like, where is our counsel to say this? Yeah. This don't fit. Right? Yeah. This don't fit. Right. You know, and, and, and that's what. Or man, this is not man. working in this situation. Like, yeah. What, what's going on here? It doesn't make sense. Yeah. To me, I I, I seen you like about three girls' pages. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What you doing over there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it shows up on the timeline. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hold on. I see. Hold you on. Happily, you happily married? Yeah, hey, yeah, 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 anything, doing, anything, anything yeah. going on over there? Yeah. You know, that we, that we need to talk about? Right. 
But that's yeah. the friendship wow, that we should deep, have. But that's yeah. true. But that's the friendship we should have. That's the friendship. How beautiful is that? Yeah. Me and me. I think, but I do think the key to you being good at that, Verdell, is in your delivery and the spirit of you. Because yeah. when people are more um, plank in the eye-ish, mm-hmm. like, you know, they're ignoring their own obvious stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then they come at you with your stuff. It's like, first of all, why are you obsessed with me, bro? Yeah. And secondly, <laughs> yeah. and secondly, you're really, it's ill-effective. You know, it's like overly religious kind of stuff. And yeah. I'm all about the rules because what people don't understand is those awesome life hacks Jesus gave us, yeah. God gave us, they really are the route to freedom. Thanks. Yeah. But people feel like rules in general nope. are the route to bondage because yeah. it feels like that initially. But it's kind of like what you were talking about downstairs, like with your endeavor to buy a house, like you're finding out that this thing that seemed difficult and might have a process involved is yeah. really the road to all awesome great, legacy great, that you deserved all along. Great, yeah. great. I, I, you, the the key word that you just said is process. 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 Mm. Process. A process, lot of people process, don't want the process. Yeah. We we'll get an idea when when Fernando first got his idea, uh, so many years ago that he's going to do the shop. Mm. You just didn't wake up and have keys to a spot, mm. and, <laughs> no. and have a growing clientele that keeps the doors open. No. Mm-hmm. It was a process to yeah. get to where you at right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, and and I remember we was on the phone the other day. You said, "Man, I can do. I can come to you and do that." Yeah. But the process of you, oh, to get there, get, to get yeah. there, yeah. the mistakes that you. A lot oh, of yeah. people don't. It, it's the, it's the the story before the glory. Mm-hmm. People don't want the in between. The gotcha. story before the glory. Yeah. People, people. That's do, nice. Yeah, yeah, people do not want the in between. Yeah. And, and 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 it's like that's what this separates the the men from the boys. Yeah. Yeah. It's being able to go through. Yeah. The process. I mean, yeah. you see it a lot of times in the Bible. Uh, Jonah ran to the well because he didn't want the process. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and 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 even when um, oh, it's Abraham and Moses. One of them they were supposed to go off, and then he dipped and just stayed in the city for like 20, 40 years mm-hmm. because he didn't want the process. The process. It's mm-hmm. the process. Mm-hmm. And even when 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 God told the the rich man, he said, "Give away your riches, follow yeah. me." If you think about it, this is God. Mm-hmm. I don't need this much. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm going to be good. Like, mm-hmm. if I'm thinking from a norm, I'm going to be, you want me to follow you? Yeah. I don't even need to carry this stuff. It's going to hold me down because yeah. anything <laughs> anything that you're willing to give away from God, God's going to yeah. Yeah. restore it. So, it now, in the Bible, it don't, it don't even say the man's name. So, he could have went on to live a good life, died yeah. and went to heaven. Yeah. But he didn't reach his process. Yeah. Where he was supposed to be because he held on to something. Yeah. Right. A lot we of people t- don't want the process. We talked about the process the last like two or three episodes for real. We it's crazy. Have, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's weaved in there, isn't yeah. it? And you have to fall in love with the process. Absolutely brilliant. Put your hands together. It's, that sounds kind of weird, but no, you do it. And, and for me, when I when I go through a process, mm-hmm. right, um, I have to keep practicing that though. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's like muscle memory. It's, yeah. I'm not going to fall in love with it right away. Yeah. It's just when I start realizing, oh, when we were started recording this podcast, Jay is like currently sitting where there was a queen size bed. And <laughs> oh yeah, we were cramped up against that Actually, wall. both of you would probably be laying on the bed right now because yeah. the bed was that big. Yeah. And then you know we would sit next to each other here and just look at the window and talk. You know, and it was I mean? all audio. So it, it was all audio and. Uh, the process, I look at it and I'm like, I really enjoy every step that I'm we... I'm thankful for it, right? I'm thankful for it, right? Because it got us to this point, and, right? And it's crazy because then next year your story is going to be like, we was in a room in a house while yeah. y'all in this broadcasting room. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, it's, cool. it's, it's, it's Thank all, you for that. For but it's, I appreciate it's that. always the, the glory, the glory that God yeah. takes us to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like those, when you go through it, if if you woke, if I woke up and said, okay, I want to be a rapper... And yeah. the next day, I'm on stage with the biggest rappers. I can't handle that. I don't no. know what it takes. Yeah, to, that's so yeah, good. Yeah, I don't know what it takes so to, to control a crowd. I don't of that mass. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it takes. You know now, but me and my starter kit, I can I can rock a show with my kids in the house. Nice. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it, it starts. It starts there. <laughs> cool. yeah. yeah. Hey, I can I can entertain my kids. Okay. Well, now I can handle a crowd of 30, 40. Right. You know, it you, it's those baby steps. Now I, you can put me on stage with anybody, and I can have. But I have to Man. go through those baby steps. I got I, I got to throw this out because I we we you did shows 
that I remember that were in tiny little places yeah. with like two or three people that didn't know who you were, yeah. right? And yeah. didn't hear the songs. But when Verdell goes out there, he's going out there like there's a room full of people. Even if there's same, only two same people. Show. Same show. Same, same Verdell same, shows up. Same yeah. Verdell showing up. And I noticed Damn. that that's what you were, that, that's some of the coaching and um, some of the mentorships that you yeah. had with the younger. And I see these, the, the younger crews now, and now they're grown and they've done their, they're doing mm-hmm. their shows. And I notice it's the same energy and that they bring. And it's, it's when, when you, as every day we wake up, yeah, we're, a day closer to being with our Lord and Savior. Yeah. Huh. Um. And when that time comes, we'll receive our reward for what we did down here. But what yeah. did we leave for the next person mm. to continue? Right. When, 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 Lord forbid, anytime soon, there's not going to be anybody else that know how to do this like how you did. Okay. But you have people up under you. I've been in your shop. You have okay. people up under you that you show how to do this. That yeah. they're better people. Matter. And here's the thing: we got to be willing to make people better, knowing that we won't benefit from it. There you go. There's the key yeah. for death. knowing that yeah. we won't benefit from it. There's a lot of artists that I've helped <laughs> that that it's a mousetrap. We man. don't. Yeah, we don't. We don't have that communication anymore. But they're better in life. Mm-hmm. Mm. Because we came across yeah. each other. Yeah. And it's not patting myself on the back. No. At the end of the day. <laughs> nobody, really, nobody's going to even know it, that exactly. you put that. It, you know, but that you but put we that have to be them. willing yeah. to make people better without yeah. wanting anything from yeah. it. I love this. It's gonna, nothing in return. Somebody probably left that. you and started their own print shop. Oh, yeah. Off knowledge that you gave them. Yeah. He's he's put people into, yeah. the, into the industry. Yeah. That's yeah. your legacy. Like they're, they're, you, yeah. they might not say come back and ever say thank you. No. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. It, it's it's human yeah. nature. Yeah. They might they might have yeah. twisted their story of like, man, I started yeah. in my house, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And never say your name, but God yeah. knows. Yeah. God knows. Yeah. Our our reward will never come. If I do something nice for Jay, it might come back in the form of you doing something nice for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we I never put this. the two and two together. I love where you're going, Verdell, we, because people are caught up in understanding compensation as apples you, to apples. Yeah, you can't. Man, and you when can. the more you trust God, yeah. you'll see it. Yeah. You'll see it. But if you don't, you'll often dismiss it as just like luck. Mm. But when you're aware, because you're seeking, you're in the mode mm-hmm. of seeking, like you're always in the mode of seeking, I can tell. Oh, yeah. You see these things the way they work. You see the hand of God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, right? and that's where it's all about. It's like being... Being okay hmm. when when Paul said I learned to be consent in any situation I'm in. It, yeah, it, it sounds so. Cliche. It's one of my favorite verses. It yeah. sounds slow, so cliche. Yeah, but it's like wherever I'm at, mm-hmm. if I have a car, if I don't have a car, mm-hmm. you know, I'm I'm consent mm-hmm. in this state. And once you learn the difference of in life, you're meant to be content, not happy. Right. People don't right. get that. You're meant yeah. to be content. Oh my gosh! You're meant man. to be. Con- you you are birthed to be Light content. <laughs> not ha- happy is a state that yeah. we go in. Yeah. It, in and out. It, you, it, could, it, you could be happy you're eating a hamburger right now, but yeah. later you don't yeah. want to have it. And, 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 <laughs> yeah. and because your stomach look like this, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I want Jay's stomach. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So so it's like it's like but the process. Yeah. I want Jay. Go back. Go I ahead. want Jay's stomach. <laughs> I don't want the process that it takes uh, for me to yeah. get Jay's stomach. No you sugar. <laughs> so that's what, that's what yeah. Jay, yeah. Jay Jay sacrifices. No sugar yes. to look to look vascular, and and, and that's the sacrifice <laughs> that I can't make right now. It's hard. I know. <laughs> you know? I get you. Dude. So so so. But yeah, when we um when we understand that that if I'm cont- if I search searching for content instead of happiness, yeah. life becomes such a brighter yeah. I'm I'm can because I might make my ha- my wife happy on Monday and Wednesday I'm getting on her nerves. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Sure, it because it, it happens. We're yeah. we're we're human. Yeah, you know, but that content will always be there because I know yeah. she know. Hey, he's a great father. He's gonna go by. So it's the content that's the glue. After after 20 years of marriage, what was one of the questions she asked you yesterday? Do you remember? You oh yeah, so so she. <laughs> She asked me why why I st- I'm still with her why I never left her. Twenty years and she's like, hey, yeah, hey, but then why didn't you ever leave me? I thought that was beautiful. But my question to her, why you ain't leave me? <laughs> yeah, you think know, about that. Yeah, so you know, uh, man, you know how many people 
like, why y'all have so many kids? Like, those questions. I mean, sure. one thing, it's two things that never happen uh, with us. We never get invited to birthday parties. What? <laughs> <laughs> And my kids never get invited to sleepovers. Wow. But I'm okay and content because, one, I understand the process that goes into a birthday party. Mm. Yeah. Us, I don't care what gift that I bring. It's not going to balance out the... My kids alone eating half the cake. Mm-hmm. Even if you give them one slice, they're eating yeah, half, half the cake. The cake yeah. The hot dogs, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Everything, everything. And so, so it's like it don't balance. So I don't... I don't... I've learned because at first I used to look at it as a... Going like, dang, everybody leave yeah. my kids out. But I have to understand what comes with it. It, it, it comes in a lot. Um, even right now, we're about to take our kids. We're, we're things that we've never done. Planning hey, trips. Me. Yeah. For our, you know, so we're going to Atlanta. We're going to Houston. We're going to Disney World. Those yeah. things back to back. We never did it. When I came, like, no, we're going to start taking out. I didn't know at all. I'm like, mm. dang, hold on. <laughs> Flights. Yeah. Because I'm used to just going by, by, yourself, by myself. Yeah. We need a 15-passenger van everywhere we go. Wow. There's not one person we can call and say, hey, come pick us up from the airport. No. No. Those are the things. Well, but I mean, you guys just, deserve your own show. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's, that's show. 10 kids, two, you know, the two adults and the luggage. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're right. Yeah. There's nobody that. So it's like, yeah. um, in, no, but it, yeah. in having that type of, of family... Um, but you're, you're content. I, I love it. It's you like it's, it. like, I, it's like I wouldn't trade it because when you talk about the bondage, it's not bondage. So when you when somebody says something, I know everybody's heard it. If if I die and find out God isn't real, I lose nothing. Right. But if he is, I've heard it. Yeah. 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 So so my family keeps me. And this fence of morality. Hit the record button. You know, I can't leave my wife. Think about it. How different will you look at me? He left his wife with 10 kids? Oh, man. That guy's a real jerk. That's crazy. Yeah. You got some deep roots there. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like you left, like, what? I thought you were better than that. Yeah. Nope. She could have did the craziest thing to me. He yeah. left the, everybody. He left at this point. You would have your own TV show. <laughs> <laughs> he left the so so. <laughs> you know, my family keeps me in this fence of um. Yeah, yeah. Pushing yeah, around. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So down. so that's what is it. And I find I find it ironic that you've got ten kids to sew into, but that's also where you find yourself every day doing work yeah. in other people's children. Yeah, yeah, Verdell, tell us a little bit about that. What are you doing right now? So I, um, I'm a director at the Boys and Girls Club. Okay. And I coach high school basketball. <laughs> so my whole day is devoted Man. to other. I've had other kids come stay with us. Wow. And and um, even one kid, he was like, uh, I'm just not used to, you know, because my wife cooks. She yeah. used to stay home. Like, I'm used to just fending for myself. Wow. Yeah, and and I'm not used to dinner time and stuff right. like that. Wow, so it's, it's like you, man. How special too for somebody who's never experienced it, for to watch a family operate. Yeah, yeah. And, but it also, I my prayer is that it teaches my kids that even though we don't have the greatest, mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. have each other. No! Yeah, and we can still give. Yeah, and, 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 and we're gonna be. We, yeah. we're, we're good we're good together yeah. yeah you know I want my kids to understand um, you know if you guys work together yeah. when, e- even in the house keeping it clean to getting older and, and, mm-hmm. and doing business y'all y- y'all gonna be great together yeah mm-hmm. you know that's, that's a lot of lessons prayer. are being learned through all this that's my prayer wow yeah. how yeah. beautiful is that and I, I, I you did say earlier you were like man sometimes I felt like a bad parent I did before I, bad, yeah, yeah before I started working with the youth I, I, I felt like a um I, I felt like I was putting everything one on my wife, um, and two that I wasn't giving my kids enough of me time yeah. because this was how we was providing, yeah. and just seeing what other kids don't have right. that my kids have, mm-hmm. just on the day, like I said, three meals a day. You know wow. what I'm saying? Like my, you know, kid, my my daughter. Oh my God, she got into K-pop. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Hold on. So for people that don't know, yeah. you he raps, he's toured, he's been all over the United States yeah. and abroad. Like he's done it all. And that's probably why you felt like you yeah. you, had, you left a lot on your wife. Yeah, exactly. But now you're talking about your daughter yeah, likes she, K-pop. She's into K-pop, <laughs> and I don't. Do you know what K-pop is? Uh, it, it's it's a uh, no. It's a it's a Korean pop group. Oh yes, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. So so it's, sure, it's yeah, like yeah. name one, Jay. No, no. <laughs> but, I, but I watch them, and I'm, I'm like, like, oh, and they, new kids on the block exact, from Korea. And, okay, and, 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 right, they've right, they've right. Taken, bye bye bye. They've taken over. And it's and actually like probably one of the most popular it is music like, genres they, right now. They're, in the world, they're, world. they're killing it right now. Yeah. yeah. Sales. They're yeah. killing it. And so she I mean she's she has it. the K pop posters, the Uno cars, the cover. Oh, Lord. like like but yeah. it's I sit back, I went I walked into her room and I sat back and I was like, I was able to give her this. Yeah. This is what makes her happy. Mm, right. I was able to meet her with, you know, and so now I I'll sit and I'll Going through Netflix, I'm like, uh, see a Japanese movie or something. I say, hey, come watch this movie. And so it's, yeah. it gives us something to connect with. Yeah. And she's teaching herself how to speak. Wow, the incredible! Language. She, yeah, how she's awesome teaching. She's teaching herself how to speak the language. So I have a frat brother who has to go on assignment <laughs> to Korea. I haven't told her I'm going to surprise her, and I, we're going to go over there. So <laughs> I'm going to take her over there. You know, so she, oh. now I hate being on long flights. Mm. Uh, flights to Korea yeah. is like a day and an hour. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> but for my baby, I will do you it. Do to, it. Because, yeah. And one thing wow. when when, uh, when having daughters, um, I always tell my friends who have daughters, yeah. you have to st- set the standard be, so another man can't come in and lower it. Absolutely brilliant. Mm. Right. So imagine if I take my daughter to Korea. Yeah. What what's that saying about the yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the men she's gonna do yeah. like I'm she's not gonna accept anything yeah less lesser we have to set the standard it, it's yeah. different I don't care what anybody say it's different how you raise a boy mm-hmm. how you yeah. raise a girl yeah. if yeah. my if my daughter fall I'm picking it up yeah yeah my son mm-hmm. fall get up yeah it, it's just the rub difference. some dirt on it and keep going. <laughs> it, it's the difference yeah. and we try to act like it's uh. Yeah. It, it shouldn't be, right? But it is. It's a yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it's, it's a complete. I have to yeah. teach my sons how to be men now before they get their definition of what a man is in, in the, the world. streets. Right. When, you, when you share it to me, yeah. and this is what I want to tell you, yeah, it's not the words that were put in your kids mm-hmm. against you. Yeah, it's your actions that's going to come back. Yeah. And they, when they when they get when they, I react to it when they start dealing with real life situations, yeah. it's not what somebody told them you were. Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna look and be like, "This is how my dad handled this." Listen yeah. to mm-hmm. what that's I awesome, say. This is how my dad handled this, yeah. and that. this is how that that is how they're gonna react to it. To it right. They're not the words that how what they seen you do. Your your kids seen you get up, yeah. go to work, yeah. start some give provide. Be, yeah. So when it come when life hits them because life hits us all. You're right. Mm-hmm. They're gonna be like, "How did my dad handle this?" Dang, yeah, because they'll look at you for reference, even in that moment, and they'll notice something still special and, about you. Wow. How did my dad handle? And that's when that's when everything is gonna come, come full on. circle. Man, yeah. how beautiful is be that? Be patient yeah. too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Don't ruin the moment when it happens. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Hey, no, I told you so. Moment, it's a kiss <laughs> you on the forehead. I love you. It, 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 exactly. <laughs> I exactly. love that. So, so hard times will always bring us back. Yeah, and, and that's why. I, I'll go back to the content. Hard times will always bring us back to who we truly are. Right. Yeah. You know? and, and They're so, essential. Yeah. So mm-hmm. not saying that we won't we we wish hard times on our kids, but yeah. we're gonna go through it. Mm-hmm. I well, want to visit the K-pop one more time. I just want to say one thing. I want to keep moving. Yeah. But has have you not walked into her bedroom one time, listened to that, and been like, I could I could do that in my sleep. Man, you know what? <laughs> the melodies to it are so um, basic. Yeah. yeah, but that's what makes it great because Maybe. people can catch on. Okay. The, but the melodies—that's like, genius too. Yeah, even not knowing what they're saying, the I, I can pick up on the melody, and it's so bad. I'm like, yes. Have I, you ever I, been I, caught like, up in that as a producer? Because sometimes I'll be mixing my own song or something, yeah. and I'll be like, I want I want everything to stand out in the mix. Yeah, like think about life too. Like when you're mixing your life, yeah. like I feel like in my life, my wife needs to stick out in the mix. Gotcha. Right, gotcha. like, but I want like my guitars, and I'm like, no, I can't hear enough drums. Before I know it, it's just, and there's no dynamic to my yeah. life and to my mix. People are never gonna grasp the whole thing of you first. So when when I when I 
when I walk into your house, I mm-hmm. say, dang, it feels like a home here. Mm-hmm. Before mm-hmm. you even came downstairs. That's that's something that you, as being a head of the household, has set as the standard Thank of you. my house is going to feel like a home when you walk in here. So then when I see you, I'm like, man, he has a real nice Captain America beard. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm you know, trying. I don't yeah. want to leave you. <laughs> yeah. So I'm never going to grasp the whole you yeah. at first, but it's those things that stick out. Then mm-hmm. I'm like, dang, how is he still such in good shape? You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> because because as people, when we when we meet people, um, we we do we size size them up. Mm-hmm. Like you, you know, think men do that? We 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 do right, almost we, innately. Like you can't help but, ourselves. But I don't want to be too loud. Women do it um, on a different level. So if 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 we go into a barbershop and me and Junior are both LeBron fans and you're a Jordan fan, mm-hmm. yeah. this is my guy. And we, Classic and we, problem and, right and here. And we yeah. jumping on you. Yeah, we're yeah. getting him. Yeah. <laughs> if, 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 if a woman walks, if you took your wife to a, a, a banquet and another, and another woman had the same dress that she had on, mm-hmm. they automatically be enemies. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They are. She, well, her earrings don't match the dress yeah, like mine. Like do. Her, and she ain't right picked the right shoes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. so it, it's just a. It I, is. I love when I know two women basically hate each other. Yeah, and I'll you watch them pick, interact the as if they're there's just like this weird fake best friend exactly. thing going on, and you're what? I'm like it's. I'm like it scares me. Yeah, yeah. it's so evil. Yeah, it, it, is. it is. I'm telling you. But we love them. And, hey, Burdell, you might not know this. Yeah, but one of our. Not so secret, secret demographics is because women are awesome. They want to know how men think, and because we yeah. don't communicate well, they listen to this oh, podcast like are, a mug, man. They They're on it all the time. I, I, I can, I can see, I can see, I can see it. We, and like you said, we don't communicate yeah. because we're doers. I'm not. If if my sink is clogged up, I'm not gonna tell the wife this is what I need to do. Wow, I'm gonna go do it. You're a man of action, right? We're 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 doers, so it's like in right. doing, and doing. It's not a lot of talk in doing. Yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna go get it done. So it's not that we don't wanna. The time that I'm spending explaining to you how I'm gonna unclog the sink, that already been done. I've already been done with it. So yeah. it's not that we don't wanna talk yeah. to the women. It's just that we wanna go get it done. Jay, what do you always say about men and thoughts and thinking and talking? That some, it's almost like. Um, just because we're deep thinkers, mm-hmm. okay? But just because we don't talk doesn't mean we're not thinking. Like right. sometimes they think there's a void there. Yeah. yeah. Actually, we're probably thinking so much that yeah. we don't have enough hard drive space to verbalize that. Yeah. I, I agree. I totally yeah. agree with that. So that's yeah. that's something that we always uh, do mention here um, as part of the book, the manuscript that Jay I wrote. I need a book. Need oh yeah, book. I got you one. I should be one <laughs> yeah. in that closet up there. If not, you'll get one anyway. Yeah. And we got you. We got you a coffee mug too. But oh, okay. uh, yes, sir. So one thing I did want to hit up on. Um, I didn't know that you grew up in the region until yeah. on the way over. You yeah. told me you, you're you from what? East Chicago. East Chicago, East Chicago. Indiana. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Moved here when I was in you the see? fourth grade, man. And for, uh, where from? Chicago. Chicago. Southside. So Southside. Um, it was a culture shock here. I remember. I remember. I got a kid. I got to hear this. I got a friend, um, <laughs> one of my best friends to this day. His name is Sean Johnson. Okay. Uh, and in fourth grade, Sean was this big yeah. cock. So we in line. Lunch line, um, and he accidentally bumps me. I'm like, man, watch where you're going, cause I'm from Chicago. I'm like, man, I'm yeah, Chicago, right. let's get you're in my space. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about so, to be in your face. Yeah, so exactly. So <laughs> I'm talking big trash to him. So after school, cause uh, everybody walked. There were no buses back then yeah. in East Chicago. So um, you know, after school, we in Lincoln. It was a park. It was a center in the park right there. So we walking in, um, and they was like, you know, y'all should fight. Yeah. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> man, Sean must have beat the brakes off me. <laughs> I'm talking about it wasn't even a contest. And uh, and from there though, we became we best. Know where this is going. We became best friends. <laughs> Sean Sean is actually the first person that I ever led to Christ. What? This uh, is the coolest the, story the, we've the, ever the, heard the, on the This on is the awesome. Yeah. And and he became like anytime people would uh, I would get into it with somebody. Uh-huh. We 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 was we yeah. was fighting buddies. I mean, we, yeah. we whooped a lot of people together. Yeah, yeah. And, and he did the majority of the work. <laughs> <laughs> Way so, to go, Sean. Yeah. Are you eating popcorn? No, yeah. no, no, man. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, <laughs> but but what I learned oh, from that is is sometimes we have to take our L's to get our victories. Glory. Wow. So we talk about this, Verdell, a little bit, and don't I don't want you to stop, yeah. but. Yeah. 
L- ladies, this is a thing. Yeah. M- young boys who get into fights yeah. often become best friends. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's it may be re- it may be harkened from our day. It might not still not, be a thing. Yeah, definitely yeah. not now. But they should it happened <laughs> and that's why like I can still watch mm-hmm. I, I it's why I can still watch two guys fight. Yeah. And if it doesn't end like if they hug in the end, yeah. I almost like it more than if they never got into a fight. Yeah. It's a man yeah. thing. Yeah. And it's from my day. I yeah. put I put boxing gloves on my sons. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they get the argument over the time. just a week. Hey, they get the argument over the time. <laughs> hey. Stop whining. Uh, go figure it out. Have yeah. you been in this room like for every episode? <laughs> and, and, yeah. And I feel like you've heard every episode. And, and the, the, per, yeah. the person who wins get the tablet. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm not going to go buy another one. Yeah, this, uh, this, 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 this is, is great. This oh is great. Yeah. yeah. So Sean, uh, Sean Johnson. Sean Johnson. Is, yeah, that's a, a cool name. Yeah. That's uh, my Jason he Pittman. He out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my Jason Pittman. Yeah. yeah. I ended up, I, um, very similar story. I got yeah. into a, a altercation fight with like the toughest dude. I just didn't know he was the toughest dude. Yeah. But we, man, we have so much respect for each other now. And you know, I, mm-hmm. I love I love him greatly. So, uh, even, and I don't have to see him all the time. I just, yeah. you know, I just hear the name or I just hear a similar story, yeah. and it brings me back to that time. And I'm like, oh man, man this, yeah, I don't this, know this, how this your stuff. fight went, but yeah, yeah. he, he blue blue blocked me. And it was like, <laughs> I don't I don't even think I got a swing off. It was, oh my it, goodness, it was just quick, like yeah. beep beep beep. Yeah. <laughs> so so th- so you as a as a youngster growing up in East Chicago was music and was that. Part of the I, year. I, so, East Chicago, where is where um, um, I had another close friend. Um, oh wow, um, his name was uh, D'Angelo Feliciano. Mm-hmm. And here's a crazy story. I went to a church a couple years back, and I performed there. And I told a story of how uh, my friend used. To, I used to walk these blocks with my friend because he stayed okay. down the street. And I said his name, and the whole church went silent and looked to the right. And his mom was sitting right there. Mm. Amazing. And she she was bawling because she remembered the me story. from, from the me whole time, story. Yeah. And I just stopped the show. We just hugged for like 20 minutes on, mm. in there. And she went and got his nephew, and he looked just like him. Mm. <laughs> You know, so how incredible is yeah, that? Yeah, East Chicago was my um, um, opening to to learning that it's more to the world than just yeah what I knew in Chicago. Right. So, um, but I think it lacked East Chicago. Biggest thing it lacked resources, and the resources went to the people who depend on what size you were from. Mm-hmm. You got such a small town; everybody has to be related to you. Right. Yeah, and, and it, it's too small. Somebody right. is it somewhere. Some down. There's a connection, right? Yeah, yeah but connected. but you divide it by train tracks. Mm-hmm. If you stay on this side, this yeah. Side. And and I when I was talking to y'all about downstairs, if we can get past the the vision and move to the provision, mm-hmm. how how much powerful can we be? If East Chicago came together when it went about size, East Chicago would be a major city. Right. It. I mean, because you got the harbor there. Mm-hmm. You know, shipping the steel. Mm-hmm. You know, it, East Chicago could be a major city if it get past itself. Do you like? Did you have a vision when you were growing up there? I know we talked about. So you got into the music. Did you see yourself going a certain place? And how does? And, and then the second part of that question is yeah. how did it play out? I know that anything. Did I put my hands on? Mm-hmm. I'm going to excel at. Okay. Yeah. I awesome. know that about myself. That's yeah. so good. Yeah. For Dale, so, you believe that. You believe yeah, it. I can tell yeah, you believe yeah. it. Yeah. Anything that I put my hands on, I'm going to excel at. So when I started to do gospel music. Mm-hmm. Did you start in gospel or did you no, start? I, I, my, I, I can tell you a story. I used yeah. to sit in Kanye basement. Say what? Yup. Yeah, I had I had a cousin named Twan. He used to write for Kanye. Okay. Kanye had a group called the Go Getters. Okay. And we would be in a in a in the. We always love bringing up Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and one of the things that Kanye said when I was and I was young, and I didn't understand it, but I totally get it now as a dope. He he told the guys. He said, "If I can't use you, then you're useless." Mm. And I'm looking mm. like, how y'all gonna let this man tell y'all that this? Yeah. Is, look, again, he not yeah. Kanye at the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But as I get older, I understand that that's how people operate. Mm-hmm. 
if you're if you're usable and useful, yeah, people will keep you around. Yeah. But if if there's no use in there, yeah, they can't use you. And that's how yeah. if you if you understand that's yeah. how the people operate, mm-hmm. even at, at my job, um, they don't yeah. they don't wanna fire us now because they don't wanna pay unemployment. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's not that I'm useful. It's like, what is the benefit? It's like, okay, if I pay unemployment, I'm not getting no work out of him, and I'm still pushing out money. So I might as well keep him around. Mm-hmm. That's how people operate. But yeah. they'll tell you like, hey, we love you so much that we're going to fight through this p- pandemic, and we're going to get through it together, and we're going to stick. But you see through that. But I see through it. Yeah. I understand the, the number game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you got this loan. You said you had this many employees. You have to. I understand that, but the average person don't get it. Mm-hmm. So that if if you don't get it, then you don't know how to operate in it. Mm. You know, I can I can sit in a room full of anybody, right. and I can operate in it, right? Because yeah. I I know what I'm up against. Sure. Yeah. So it's like, what do you bring? You can sit at a table, yeah. But what do you bring? Are you valuable? Table. Table. Ultimately, that's what yeah. he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful, yeah. man. And, and 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 in every relationship, there is a there is a level of give and take. It has to be right. It has, there to, always has to be. Yeah. How much material? Yeah. How much material right. can you give away? Right. That's right. Before you put yourself in a hole. Right. Right. Exactly. It ha- But but you can bless people mm-hmm. because. It, and Emily, that's how your doors stay. Oh, it's not mm-hmm. the business, it's the blessing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you have to be able to understand how to operate to where you're not putting yourself in a hole where God got to come bring you yeah. out. It goes back to excellence, though, right? Yeah. Like, like so you're, you're looking at what God's doing for you. You're yeah. like, okay, I got to make this count. Like, so, because I got to keep my doors open, blah, 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 right? Yeah, you know, you, yeah, you got to figure out. And, and if you're pursuing Him, those things happen for you more seamlessly than yeah. if you're just kind of like, you know, especially when just people sulk. Yeah. You know, like I've been given away. Like I, I constantly, like this is something I talk to with my wife all the time, Burdell. Like, like when we give somebody something, mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, there are no apron strings attached. Because I said a lot of people will do something for oh, somebody, yeah. and then they almost want to sort of watch you mismanage what they've given you. They never gave it to you then. It's a chess. Yeah. It's a chess piece. It's like I'm gonna give you this to either hold it over your head yeah. or see you fail. Mm. You know. um, I don't hold resources. You know, if if I have a resource that it might not work out for me, yeah. but it's perfect for you, right. I'll call you up. Hey, mm-hmm. I got this. Yeah. And I don't I don't mind wow. being the middleman and stepping out of the way. Yeah. I don't so I'll tag somebody in a group, a Facebook group that that's looking for somebody, looking mm-hmm. for something, and then I'll take myself out of the group. Because I don't need to see the outcome. Right. I did my part. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of people want to stick around and yeah. see so you can t- so you can tell me thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I might see you later down down the road, like, hey, how did that work out for you? Oh man, that was it was great. It was what I need. Oh, okay. Cool. A really but great, I'm not yeah. If, if if we can remove ourselves out of always wanting to thank you. Oh my gosh. Or 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 how many times Marvel does a great job of making us watch the credits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do a great job of making because yeah. we know because we know it's something at the end that we don't want to miss, <laughs> yeah. and that's how we are as humans. Yeah, we yeah. want to stick around for the credits. We want to credits. stick around. No, nah, you did your part. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I love what uh, what you're saying, Burdell, because I experienced it just the other day talking to you about the blessing that came to you uh, through the creation of a. Uh, Baseball field and baseball yeah. equipment and I seen a post. Yeah, I just seen it. I just seen you put a post yeah. of of, um, yeah. of your son, and I'm like, I got all this baseball stuff that's yeah. not sitting around. Yeah, and then I hit him up, and then he was like, you know, there's people that will pay for this field. Yeah, and it was just off seeing a pitch. A lot of times we miss our yeah. mm-hmm. connections because yeah. we're. We're so focused on this that we don't see what's left yeah. and right. Yeah. yeah. You know, and a simple phone call. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay. There's this beautiful field in Gary that was completely made. Was it made yeah. during the I COVID? It was made during COVID. And I, sent, I sent him the pictures. Already. Oh, yeah. It's gorgeous. I already so, showed him. So yeah. he he ended up, Do you, could you say who you worked with? I don't know. I'm about to tell you right now. Okay. So he worked with someone that... Uh, I'm not sure if they funded, but had the field made. Mm-hmm. And 
But it, get, it got better because I don't think I sent you these pictures. There was there's like rooms filled with equipment. Incredible mitts and cleats and everything you and need. Everything you need. Everything every, that you need. To, yeah. To function on that field. To function like on no that excuses. Field. All we need to do is plug kids. And then, and then I just happened to say, <laughs> "Oh yeah, you know, uh, I, I just made a comment like, you know, parents could just uh, bring their cha- their seats." He was like, "No, we got bleachers." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then he sends a picture of the bleachers. I think I sent you the picture of the bleachers. Uh-huh. They're not like chunky bleacher it's yeah. like, nice stuff you know so awesome. um yeah what, what a what an amazing blessing that and then you know that he 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 received but that blessing is going to also help people that need a baseball yeah. field or and not or even just those that need a baseball field people that know that people don't look at gary and say baseball even though they got this yeah gary still yeah mm-hmm. but imagine if we can get you know, because my mind gets to work, and I like, yeah. I'm like, imagine if we can start a league and introduce because in in the urban community, it's either basketball or football. Yeah, yeah. Not knowing that baseball is where the money at, and <laughs> and yeah. you don't you in 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 basketball and football, you have to have a level of athleticism yeah. to stand out. Yeah, yeah. In baseball, you just have to have a skill set, mm-hmm. a a skill set at I'm not going to ask the third baseman to be an outfielder. Right. You could just concentrate on being the best third baseman that you can. That's right. Mm-hmm. And it will take you somewhere. Yeah. So you don't have to have that athleticism that it takes to. He told me a story how you jumped over the 6'3 wide receiver. And yeah. Go backflip into the end zone. Into, yeah, that's, athletic, that's athleticism. Hmm. You know, you don't need And so when baseball, it's a lot of kids that just it's, you can't make a basketball team. You just don't have it. But you might be a hell of a batter. You yeah. might be, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you, but you, you didn't know that. So I'm thinking like, I start, start thinking like, okay, we can get kids who uh, never even played the game of baseball that everybody starts on the playing field, even mm. playing field. Yeah. And, and we can develop the talent. I can have the Gary Steele his, maybe come volunteer mm-hmm. and, yeah. and, and, and introduce kids to a whole new world. And if, and if only one comes from it, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah, that's one that would never have that chance. So, <laughs> so yeah, when when you got to telling me about, it, I'm like, man, it's it's not me. Mm-hmm. I don't know nothing about baseball. Right. My I, I did find out later uh, when my dad got back in his life, his sport was baseball. Wow. And my granddad played for the Negro League, but he wasn't there in my life to tell me that. So right. imagine what man. kids as sons we want our dad's approval. Yes. Mm-hmm. If my dad was there from the get go and told me that, I would have played baseball. Because mm. I, we want to do what makes our dads happy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and so, how much talent is hidden inside of people just because there's nobody there to bring it out? And sometimes, yeah, that's so cool because, like, I love what you're what you're talking about. Is that you have like you might have this hidden treasure chest of yeah. talent that because the key to opening it isn't around, which is information from your absent dad or your. Or even like his your uncle that comes around and says, "Hey, you know, yeah, your exactly. dad was a heck of a baseball player." And yeah. then you're like, "Really?" Yep. And man, inside of you, mm-hmm. you know. Or sometimes the talents that people just use in their closets. Yeah. Right. You you mentioned that before. That's true. Like you, I got how many people, and Verdell probably knows people like this. Some of the best rappers have never made it out of their bedroom. I, I, some, some of the best. Because <laughs> they're missing that thread, Verdell, yeah. that courage. Yeah. The, and the thing about it is with, um, man, I can't find this guy's name. Oh, sorry, man. But the thing about it is, is um, when you have a level of confidence, that, I don't, can you go back to that moment when you got, you was getting close to the end zone, you was like, man, I'm going to do a backflip. The oh, level, yeah. the level of confidence that you have to have mm-hmm. in yourself is it's like, I know I can run to the end zone, but mm-hmm. I'm gonna add a little something onto it. Yeah, you well, know what I'm saying that confidence yeah. that you have. That's funny. How can I we? Love that. How can we start to build that level of confidence? Yeah, into people. I knew I wasn't the best rapper. You know, I knew my weaknesses, so I was able to make it my strengths. Wow, it's strengths and numbers. I might, yeah. you know, I can take. You always a, had an entourage when yeah, you went yeah, on stage. It's, That's it's, sure. it's strict because yeah. you can't keep your eye on everybody, right? You know, so so um, if I'm operating, I told before, before I seen the wave of where um, 
gospel rap was heading mm -hmm. before Brian Trejo and them. And I told um, a certain rapper that we know, I said, this is the route that you need to take because you can be ahead of the curve. Mm -hmm. It is a wow. lot. It is a lot of Hispanic listeners, mm -hmm. but they don't have anybody that looks like them. Right. Mm -hmm. You can get ahead of the curve and be that yeah. for them. I, I told a couple, no, nobody took it. Yeah. And now Brian Trejo is one of the biggest. Right. The, the hands down, I mean, because Lecrae and True, all those guys had somebody back mm -hmm. to stand on. Yeah. yeah. Brian Trejo yeah. built it from the ground up. Right. And and I've we've been at shows yeah. where I've never seen a show where people come in buying merchandise before the concerts even mm -hmm. start. That's, that's awesome. When when whatever's on his table, when he gets there, yeah, he he's taking empty bags back. Yeah. I I've did too many shows when I've seen it. Mm -hmm. He's taking empty, and it's the support mm. that's there, and he has a a, a, a giver's heart, mm -hmm. you know. But who was supposed to be in that place? This is, wow. what, this is what people don't understand. There are a lot of people in positions that were somebody else's position. Absolutely. And they're only there because they said yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely brilliant. Put your hands together. God not, he give you a little grace, but the job still got to get done. Man. <laughs> you got to say yes. The job got to get done and he's looking for a son. But that could have been... So yeah. that you know what that harkens back to me. I love the verse, "Many are called, but few are chosen." Few are chosen. Yeah. But yeah. you know, I, I I've often told people, I'm like, sometimes I wonder if whether or not we're chosen has to do with us. It has everything to do. With us. <laughs> it, it, you know, um, you, you, you said you're over like a gang of people. Yeah, yeah. I'm very how, fortunate. How many people have you called for an interview? How many people have you picked for a job? Yeah. I guarantee you have made more calls for interviews than people you have hired. Yeah. Called and chosen. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and and a lot of people don't understand. Like I told you, you were you were chosen mm -hmm. to be in this region. Right. You know, and, and when y'all met, whatever the time it is when y'all met, mm -hmm. it was already set up for this. Mm -hmm. This was already yeah. because God operates outside of time. Yeah, <laughs> this this has already happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where y'all will end up at, God mm -hmm. already knows. Mm -hmm. It has right. already happened. But when y'all met umpteen years ago, yeah, it was about it was a, already it was already in the it works. was written. It, it was, was written. written, and so right. and so. Mm -hmm. Love you, Jay. If we you, Jay. if we operate in knowing that the story already has an end. Mm -hmm. How can I get to the best ending? Mm -hmm. Because this is what we don't understand. Alternate endings. Alternate endings depend on mm -hmm. us. Man. And showing up and coming through. Yeah. The, the all those things that we've been talking about. The people in the wilderness were only supposed to be there for two weeks. <laughs> It was all up to them. <laughs> it was up to them. They, they changed the alternate ending. Yeah, yeah. They had it was two different. It, uh, it was how it was supposed to end yeah. and how it ended. <laughs> they changed it. That was actually really be, good because of them. Yeah, I love that. Now, but here's here's the God that we serve. Yeah, He still provided for them. Yeah, yeah. in the midst of them. Yeah, changing the ending. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, God is the only boss. That will fire you and still leave you employed. <laughs> it's truth. And Thanks, you know what else man. I love about what yes. you just said is, yeah. guess what? They chose a different process. Yeah. Thanks. You don't have to choose the. You know, sometimes, mm -hmm. Verdell, I'll pray like this. I'd be like, God. And I, this is how I. You can talk to him. I, I do all the time. I, I say, look. I know sometimes I've I've learned the hard way. Right. Yeah. But. I would I like learning the easy way. Yeah. So if, if it's at all possible, if it's at all possible, yeah. I don't want to have to do stupid things to learn hard lessons. I'd much rather, mm -hmm. you know. And I think he's like, well, just keep doing this. Mm -hmm. Just keep praying like this. And, and and that's what it is. It's like because I've learned, <laughs> man, I learned a lot of things the hard way, mm -hmm. the hard way. And yeah, but but I also in that I learned how to 
understand when God's hand is on something. Right. And, and when it's not. When it's, I know the difference of when it's me making it happen and when it's God making it happen. Yeah. When God makes it happen, flows like that. <laughs> it's not It's not a hiccup. Right. When I'm making it happen, I got to hold this up, hold this up, you know, mm-hmm. and, I'm, yeah. and, and to get, so I understand that, okay, God, way is easier. It, it requires sacrifice. I, th- I think it's the sacrifice of us. When, <laughs> the, so, in, in doing some study, do you guys know because of the way Rams calves are, they're not, they don't have the ability to climb. What? Yeah, because of the way they hooves or cat, what it's called, they don't have the ability to climb up. So imagine when it said when he was taking his son up one mm-hmm. side, and God was sitting around up the other the, side, and, and something impossible for the ram something to do. Something impossible for the ram to do. God already had it set up. Mm-hmm. It was the willingness of the sacrifice. Sometimes we're not willing to sacrifice to see what God is going to do. You know, it's like, uh, because we're comfortable. Mm -hmm. I know if I stick this key into this lock, it's going to unlock because it's mine. Mm -hmm. But when you say go to somebody else's door. Yeah. uh, And content is not comfortable. At all. So like Verdell talked about being content. That's like this just feeling of... Paul, that Paul was talking about because he had a lot when he was saying that, but yeah. he said it don't matter. I, I, I have I can have this feeling because that's when your hope's not in man. It, it is right. Okay, but it, but being comfort, being you know, I, I don't want I want to screw up what I was saying there, yeah. but content and comfortable are two completely different things. Two different, you know? and, and, and comfortability is, is the killer of success. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. It Be is. comfortable with being uncomfortable yep. if yeah. you want to continue and to grow. So, so it's like, and um, you said some words to me, man, that, that stuck out to me when we was talking about mm-hmm. uh, um, relocation. It was like, you reminded me of who I was. Yeah. You know, and sometimes we need that. Yeah. Like, man, you can't... Uh, that's my whole life. You can put me in Alaska and I'm going to yeah. come out with a polar bear coat. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, I, and, and a sled. And, yeah. and, and you know, it, it might take me some time. Yeah. That's but, the Verdell I know. Yeah, but I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to figure it out. Yeah. I, 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 God has given me, and I think I'm in my season now yeah. where he can trust me with a lot. Yeah. But he's given me the ability to make little much. Yeah. Yeah. Till he could trust me. Yeah. yeah. Like I told you. The I process, bro. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know. Sitting on the phone with the realtor, I'm like, maybe he's not a good realtor. Because <laughs> you're 40 years old yeah, and you still don't got a You almost crib, don't huh? want to believe like, the blessing. Yeah. It's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like this sound, too. It's like, man, your credit straight. Yeah. You know, your finances in order. You don't have. Yeah, we can get you pretty. I'm like. Because in my mind, I had made it. It was this big. Yeah. Obstacle that it was gonna mm-hmm. yeah. and, and, and like you said, sometimes you don't want to believe the blessing, but it it's it's there. It, everything hmm. God will supply all my needs according to his. Not mine. That's the key. According to his. Mm-hmm. He is he everything is his. Mm-hmm. Even my needs are his. Mm-hmm. So if he's supplying it from him. What do I got to worry about? Right. But how is the trusting in that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The trusting in the his part. Yeah. Because we look at ours. Yeah. I only got X amount of dollars and yeah. this cost this. I'm looking at our his. He, yeah. he made dollars. It's he infinity. Made. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So. Man, I love yes. that. This yeah. conversation was crazy. Man, I, it was awesome. I appreciate you. I'm leaving, I'm leaving it like a. Uh, inspired and i love that you're you're i love that you're in tune you're a godly man and that you're relevant and that's why that's why you speak to kids yeah because because like sometimes guys our ambassadors for christ yeah. they're just like they're out of touch yeah but you can be in touch yeah and not be a sellout yeah and then and it's a it's a hard it's a hard line of because you want to make sure that the respect is never lost right mm-hmm. and understanding that you're not their friend Mm -hmm. a lot of times in this generation we have a lot of adults trying to be these kids yeah like and once you become their friends you can no longer teach them yeah like your coach can't be your friend your you you, you can't be 
I can care for you. Yes. yes. And I want to see you succeed in life. Mm -hmm. But I'm 40, you 16. We, we're not friends. Right. Mm -hmm. We're not friends. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to a house party with you. Mm -hmm. You're not yeah. going to a banquet with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I can show you how to move from house party to banquet because yeah. I've been there. Mm -hmm. And once we that re that respect level is established, they'll they'll res I'm talking about they'll follow you through a brick wall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they will. They mm -hmm. they they will. That once you establish their respect, you know, even even with my kids, I tell my, you know, they got this uh kids got this saying where they call everybody bro now. Mm -hmm. Every time my son do it, I punch him in his chest. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we gotta yeah. stop. Like, like you might be joking, and it's just a yeah. habit because you say it. But let me remind you, I'm not your bro. Yeah. Your bro yeah. can't do this and get away with it. No. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> so it's the yeah. a level of respect. Your bro ain't paying the bills at this house. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and and once we get that, we're we're good, bro. And I I think, like I said, I you guys have blessed me. Um, in our conversation here, thank you for having me in your oh, house. Oh man, you yeah. know, like you, you are my new standard oh, and I just met you today incredible you, you, really. are, you are my new I'm standard. thinking about you that way yeah, too thank when, you when, when, when I when we do get the keys to my house mm -hmm. my first memory is going to walk I want my house to feel like Jay's mm -hmm. yeah. thank so you you're my new standard so. that's awesome man. what a blessing that yeah. is yeah. Yeah. and we we were super blessed to have you on the show man and get the chance to talk to you we didn't hit a lot of the things I mean we could probably talk to you for a very long oh, time yeah. so we definitely going to have you back through here and uh, I'm excited for that. I want to have him back right after you get those keys. Yeah. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want that. I want that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's awesome. Yeah. And then we might have him back for the... Uh, the, the the sex conversation oh, yeah. uh, 2.0 yeah because yeah. this this brother got 10 kids man <laughs> mm -hmm. doing something <laughs> got, right <laughs> we got, he had a lot of good things to say i was like yeah. what sometimes they'll ask me because my my our little guy he's the, the biggest he's like he's 170 the biggest pounds guy. and <laughs> yeah. he's 12 and i will tell people like i love to tell churchy people this oh we did it twice that night <laughs> I love, like, I, love, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then I know because I ain't done it twice since I was 20. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a lie. <laughs> All right, man. This is how we finish out. Verdell, we say who we are. And then you'll say who you are. He'll say, This is the Mental Edge Podcast. And then you'll say, We out. Gotcha. All right. All right. So my name is Jay Wakasey. I'm Fernando Lopez Jr. I'm Verdell TSO Gray. This is the Mental Edge Podcast. And we out. We out. We out. We out. We out. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God.